Wally the water scientist. Back with another science experiment for you to try at home. Today, we're going to do something that sounds like magic. We're going to make water walk. To help us make water walk, I've invited along my friend Christy from Golden Valley Water. Hi guys, today we're going to be doing the walking water experiment. Wally, what will we need today? Well, Christy, we will need seven clear cups or glasses, some water, blue, red and yellow food dye, paper towel, scissors and the walking water worksheet. Okay, so I've got seven cups here and our first step is to add water to them. So I'm going to add about up to the line, so about three quarters. And we do that to every second cup. So we skip one, add water to the third cup, skip one, add water to the fifth cup, skip one, and to our seventh and last cup. We then need to add some food dye. We'll add about four drops of red to the first one. One, two, three, four. Four drops of yellow to the third cup. One, two, three, four. Four drops of blue to the fifth cup. One, two, three, four. And then we're actually gonna do red again into the end cup. One, two, three, four. Now we need to fold our paper towel. So I've got six pieces of paper towel. Fold them in half, half again, and I'll go in half again to make it nice and skinny. And then you fold that in half lengthways. Now you want it about the height of the cup. So I'm gonna trim a little bit off And then we can put the paper towel in between our first two cups. Now straight away I can see the water coming up through the paper towel. How does that work, Wally? Well, Christy, water is made up of something called water molecules. These water molecules are so small that billions and trillions of them are in just one drop of water. So how do they move upwards? Well, water molecules stick to each other and they also stick to the tiny fibres in the paper towel and can move up them as well. This is called capillary action, not caterpillar action, capillary action. And it's how water moves up the roots of a plant and throughout the branches and leaves. So now put paper towel in between each of the cups. And what we're hoping to happen is water to fill up our three empty cups. Now because we've used different colours, something pretty cool should happen with the colour of the water that enters our empty cups. Now you do have a worksheet that you need to fill in. This worksheet's in a link that comes with the video. But if you don't have a printer, don't worry, just draw the cups out on an empty piece of paper. Now I want you to colour in any cup labelled red, yellow or blue. And there's something actually pretty special about red, yellow and blue that Wally wants to tell you about. Well Christy, these are special colours called primary colours. All other colours come from mixing these three colours. When the water from two cups mix into an empty cup, we should get a different colour called a secondary colour. So now is a good time to press pause on the video and get your worksheet coloured in. So like I said, any cups, red, yellow, blue, get them coloured in. But then we've got our three empty cups in between. And this is where I want you to guess what you think the colour will end up being when our primary colours blue and red mix together, yellow and blue mix together, and red and yellow mix together. So go away, do your worksheet, and when we come back, we'll see what ended up happening with our experiment.
Over time, the water is moving from the full cups into the empty cups. And what we end up with is about the same amount of water in each cup. Let's have a close look at what colours we ended up with. Red and yellow have mixed together to make orange. Yellow and blue have made green. And here's my favourite. Blue and red have made purple. So orange, green and purple are all called secondary colours because they are made from mixing primary colours. Here's a closer look with the paper towel removed to see all the different colours. It looks like a rainbow. That's pretty cool, Wally. Did anyone guess the right colours on their worksheet at home? That was a fun experiment. We hope you have a go at making it yourself. Bye!